You spend two weeks designing, waiting, soldering, trying to track down a flaw in your shoddy new prototype, and it turns out the problem is a $2 screen. This is my new custom PCB for the FlexGrid, an open source prosthetic sensor system. I've been waiting for these boards from the Fab House for weeks. I didn't order the $60 stencil, couldn't justify it, so every component, the MOSFETs, the multiplexer, the microcontroller, was placed by tweezers and trust. Then came the reflow process. Not a real reflow oven, just a hacked up t-shirt heat press. Not ideal, but it gets the job done. The power worked, LEDs lit up, but the screen completely dead. I desoldered it, resoldered it, tried a second screen, then a third. It was about one swap away from breaking the board. So I changed tactics, clipped on a cheap Amazon probe, and started testing it on a breadboard. That's when I brought in the oscilloscope. The signal from the new screens only dipped half a volt, way off. When I swapped out an old SSD1306 screen, suddenly it worked. So was it a fake driver chip, faulty units, noise on my circuit? Honestly, I still don't know. But I know this, when something breaks, don't always blame your code. Sometimes, it's just a $2 screen.